Hello everyone. Welcome to Summit for Max. Today we are going to discuss about graphing linear inequalities in this video. Chapter 3 in CA Foundation module. Here let us discuss it point by point. The first topic we are going to learn is linear inequalities in one variable. Let us learn how to mark the solution space for linear inequalities in one variable. Can you guess the space? It's the solution space for the inequality x greater than or equal to 0. Here is another graph. Here we are going to find the solution space for the inequalities x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. This is the line y is equal to 0 that is the x axis represents y is equal to 0 and y axis represents x is equal to 0. Here the inequality is greater than or equal to. So the first quadrant represents x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. Let us get into the second topic. Linear inequalities in two variables. Here we shall discuss it in two subdivisions. One is ax plus by less than or equal to c and ax plus by greater than or equal to c. The solution space for the first equation ax plus by less than or equal to c can be marked as all the points on and below the line that is the region containing the origin. The solution space for the second equation ax plus by greater than or equal to c are all the points on and above the line that is the region opposite to the origin. Here let us discuss this topic with an example 3x plus y less than or equal to 6. In order to plot the points on the graph, let us consider the equation 3x plus y is equal to 6. When we substitute x is equal to 0 in the equation, we get y is equal to 6 and when y is equal to 0, we get x is equal to 2. So 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 6 are the points. Let us name as A and B. With these two points we can plot the line 3x plus y is equal to 0. This is the point 2 comma 0 and this is the point B 0 comma 6. Let us join the points and we get the line 3x plus y is equal to 0. Here the inequality is less than or equal to. Now let us substitute the origin to the left hand side of the inequality and find out the region that is to be shaded. Substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. We get
3 into 0 plus 0 less than or equal to 6. So left hand side becomes 0 which is less than or equal to 6. Which is a true statement. Therefore we need to shade the points on and below the line that is the region containing the origin. So this is how the shading goes. Now let us discuss the third topic. If we have more than one equation and all the terms are positive, let us discuss this the three subdivisions. If all the inequalities have less than or equal to symbol then the region to be shaded will contain the origin let us represent this on a graph. If this is a graph and there are more than one line let us mark them as L1, L2, L3 and all the lines have the inequality less than or equal to so the area containing the origin is to be shaded so this is the region to be shaded the next subdivision we are going to discuss here is all the equations having greater than or equal to symbol then the region to be shaded is away from the origin that is does not contain the origin. Let us see the graphical representation of this type. Let us consider three lines L1, L2 and L3 and all the inequalities in these lines are greater than or equal to then the area to be shaded as solution space will be away from the origin. So this is how the shading will go. Hope you get it. The third type or the third subdivision that is if we have both the symbols less than or equal to and greater than or equal to that is few lines will have less than or equal to and few lines will have greater than or equal to symbol then the region bounded between the lines will be the solution space. Here let us see the graphical representation of this type. Let us consider three lines again L1, L2 and L3. For instance let us take that the line L1 is having a symbol less than or equal to and line L2 is having the symbol less than or equal to and 
line L3 is having the symbol greater than or equal to. So the shading will be like this. The area bounded between the lines. Because here in L1, it is the region which contains the origin and L2, the region containing the origin and L3, it is away from the origin. The next topic is all the types of word problems. Here, if the keywords are available, maximum, at most and capacity. If you see these keywords, then the equation that is to be used is less than or equal to. This is one type and the second type will be if you have the keywords like minimum at least then the inequality will be greater than or equal to for both these types the common condition will be x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. The next topic we are going to discuss today is when the line passes through the origin. The line equation will be of the type ax plus or minus by is equal to 0. Such lines will not have origin side or non-origin side. Let us see the graphical representation of such line. So this is the line x is equal to y. It passes through the origin. So now let us consider a point 1 comma 0. And substitute this value in the equation. And if the statement is true, then the region towards the point is the solution space. If the statement is false, then the region opposite to the point will be the solution space. Let us discuss this topic in detail. Here let us consider two lines x minus y less than or equal to 0 and x minus y greater than or equal to 0. Here this is the line representing x is equal to y. And let us mark the point 1 comma 0 and substitute it in the inequality. So we get 1 minus 0 is less than or equal to 0. Which is a false statement. That is 1 is not less than 0. So the shading of the solution space should be away from the point that is opposite side of the point 1 comma 0. Here let us substitute the value 1 comma 0 to the inequality. We get the true statement that is 1 greater than 0. If this is the line x comma y and the point 1 comma 0, since the statement is true, we need to shade the region containing the point 1 comma 0.
Now let us consider the inequality x plus y less than or equal to 0 and x plus y greater than or equal to 0. Here x is equal to minus y on the graph this is the line x is equal to minus y. Now let us mark the point 1 comma 0 and substitute the value in the equality. We get 1 is less than or equal to 0 which is a false statement. 1 can never be less than 0. So we should not shade the region containing the point 1 comma 0. So it should be away from the point. This is the solution space. Here for x plus y less than or equal to 0, this is the line x is equal to minus y and point 1 comma 0. Now let us substitute these values in the inequality. We get 1 greater than or equal to 0 which is a true statement. So our solution space should be the region containing the point 1 comma 0. So that's how it should be. As a continuation of this topic, we shall discuss the questions in the module in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel Summit for Max. Thanks for watching.